Now in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how Nvidia runs games on Linux. Now for what it's worth, I actually had this video and my previous AMD video planned before the previous video kind of exploded with a, a lot of hate and rage at my opinion on AMD drivers on Linux. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch my previous video and take a look at the comments. People are not very happy with it. But at any rate, I've had this video planned for a little while and I'm still gonna do it. Now you should consider this video as sort of an anecdote at how Nvidia cards and drivers perform on Linux because I'm going to be testing one card. On Linux, Nvidia has a single driver that covers their cards from their 400 series all the way up to their brand new ones. However, on most Linux distros, you actually have to go out and download and install that driver, whereas with AMD, the Radeon or Mesa driver comes pre-installed. For this video, I will say that I'm using an EVGA GT730 2GB of DDR5, the 64-bit model, not the 128. First up is Tomb Raider. Now, if you've watched the previous video, you'll very quickly notice that this is not the same area I did in that video. That's because I loaded a save, which for whatever reason overwrote the previous save, and now we're at the very end of the game, which is actually fine because there's kind of a lot happening here. I was considering doing a side-by-side -side sort of thing, but eh, it's kind of a lot of effort, and if you want to see how the AMD drivers work, then go watch that video. One thing I will say though, is when there's a lot of action on the screen like right here, it tends to tear a lot, and from what I understand, that's actually an issue with the Nvidia driver. For what it's worth, the AMD drivers don't tear nearly as bad as the Nvidia driver, but you get performance or you get tearing. When you're on Linux, those are your options. Now the Valley benchmark ran consistently under about 20 frames a second, and unfortunately, when you move the mouse quickly, it tears pretty darn bad. That might be due to the motion blur, I'm not exactly sure, but it's not very pretty to look at, unfortunately. Now I don't know what the hell they're doing over at the War Thunder development team, but these guys need to give a class on how to port games to Linux. I shit you not, this game gets better performance on Linux than it does on Windows. Remember, this is a GT730 with the graphics on medium and I'm getting over 60 frames a second at times. Now this is the aviation portion of the game, let's take a look at the tanks. Now I should point out that War Thunder is wildly well optimized. The minimum GPU specs call for a GeForce 460 or higher. Now that is an old card. I'm pretty sure that this puny little GT730 meets those specs. Now granted, this is at medium graphics settings. No stuttering, it's as smooth as butter. This looks great and plays great. It's worth pointing out that War Thunder is a free to play game. It does have a lot of microtransactions, but don't let that keep you from playing. It's a really, really good game. And the last game we're going to be taking a look at is Shadow of Mordor. Now I more or less beat Shadow of Mordor, but that was on a GTX 750 Ti. This is on a GT 730 and we're getting uh, between 20 and 30 frames a second. It's very smooth though, it does tear a bit. And at times when there's a lot of effects going on, like when you're dominating somebody, it'll drop to about 10 to 12 frames a second, that's not great. So I think that's probably enough for this video. I'm sure just like the last video, I'm gonna piss a lot of people off and that's okay. I was an AMD guy for a long, long time. And if you look around on my channel, I've got a lot of benchmarks for AMD cards. And yeah, they're a year or two old, but that's when I was into AMD. I was doing a lot of benchmarking to see if they are decent on Linux and surprise, they're not, they suck. I switched to Nvidia about a year ago and to be honest with you, it was probably the best decision I have ever made as a Linux user. So my personal recommendation, and this is my opinion, if you're considering Linux and considering gaming on Linux, go with an Nvidia card. Don't even consider an AMD card. Well, I probably pissed a lot of people off with that statement, but hey, probably a good place to end this video anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and if you did or didn't, why don't you leave a like and comment below. It's always fun reading what you guys have to say. I know a lot of people take these videos and these opinions very seriously, but hey, I'm making the video, and I don't. I appreciate everyone's support, and thanks for watching.